we are going through ai boom time period where every single business and industry wants to adopt ai what this means for your personal career is that having ai in your resume is going to benefit you tremendously in coming time i made a video previously where i discussed both technical and non-technical career options in ai along with skills required for each of these roles. In this video, I am going to show you a pathway to figure out which career option is best for you given your current situation. I will show you a decision tree that will help you decide among these seven career roles. The first question you need to ask is, are you good in coding? You might have existing strong coding skills or if you have deeper interest then also it's okay it's not like you need to have the skills right now you either have interest or you already have strong coding skills if the question is yes ask another question are you good at math and statistics again you could be good at math and statistics right now or you have deeper interest to learn the skills so that you can be good after a few months if the answer is no to that question go for ml ops engineer role because ml ops requires strong coding skills but it doesn't require strong math and statistics skills ml ops role is similar to devops role in software engineering we discussed this in detail in our previous video where I discussed various career options, the skills, what each of these roles are doing, etc. So again, if you have not seen that video, please watch it. Now, if your interest and in skills is higher in math and statistics, then ask another question. How do you rate your computer engineering skills? If it is strong, go for AI engineer because AI engineer not only builds a model they are also responsible for deploying a model and integrating that with the rest of the technical infrastructure if the answer is no or let's say you have average computer engineering skills then go for data scientist when i say computer engineering skills i mean detailed knowledge of data structures algorithm big o notation distributed computing how to deploy a software using REST servers to call APIs, things like that. Data scientists do not get involved in those activities too much. They build a model and then they give it to software engineer or ML ops engineer for the deployment. Whereas AI engineer, they not only build a model, they are also responsible for deploying and integrating that with the rest of the system. Data scientists have little better skills or stronger skills in math and statistics compared to AI engineer. They are involved in extracting insights from data. So they are sometimes heavy on math side. AI engineer also needs to be good in math, but not as good as a data scientist. When a person has become AI engineer, they are like a general doctor, general physician. Once a person has become general physician, usually what do they do? They will become a specialized doctor such as heart doctor or lung doctor. Similarly, if you have specific skills, let's say in linguistics, or if you have specific skills in computer vision, then you can become either NLP engineer or computer vision engineers. These three career roles are kind of similar, except that NLP engineers mainly focus on natural language processing, any AI projects related to text. Whereas computer vision engineers are focusing on computer vision, which is uh, images and video. But you don't have to do this specialization as a general AI engineer. Also, you get paid well and you can have a rewarding career. Now, all these five roles are technical roles. Let's talk about non-technical roles, which is if you answer no to our first question, which is do you have interest in coding? There are many people who are like oh, coding is not my cup of tea. Who cares about coding? For those folks, there are three possible career options. Number one is AI ethicist. Let's say if you have some background in regulations and ethics, etc., then you can become AI ethicist. For any AI project, figuring out a risk is very important. AI is like nuclear energy. It's very risky technology as well. And you need to take into account all the laws and regulations. For example, European Union recently passed strict laws around AI. So if you violate that law, you will have to pay millions of dollars of fine. Okay, so AI ethicist is a person who reviews any AI project and they 
गिव सर्टन अप्रूवल्स दे हैव नॉलेज ऑफ ऑल द रेगुलेशन बाय डिफरेंट कंट्रीज दे अंडरस्टैंड द बायसिस विच आर क्रिएटेड बाय ए आई मॉडल्स दे अंडरस्टैंड द यूज ऑफ टॉक्सिक लैंग्वेज एक्सेट्रा एंड दे मेक श्योर दैट ऑल दो कंप्लायंस मैटर्स आर इन प्लेस द सेकेंड वन इज ए आई प्रोडक्ट मैनेजर let's say if you are working as a software product manager this role might be the best where you have to get know how of ai you are not doing coding but you need to understand ai as a technology what is the strength what is the weakness things like that and then you can become ai product manager ai product manager is a bridge between technical team which is the team of ai engineers or data scientists and the business team so in order to become a bridge you have to have good business understanding and some know how of technology and if you are a person who likes to travel around who likes to meet people who likes to negotiate and sell things then you can become ai sales representative any existing sales representative doesn't matter which field you are in can transition to this role all you have to do is once again understand the know how of ai understand the strength the shortcomings and various dimensions of the technology in general and then you can combine your sales skills with it to become ai sales representative this is best for the people who don't like to sit in front of computer and work for example my brother although he's a computer engineer he is into sales because he likes to travel he likes to meet different people he likes to understand a various pains which are faced by businesses and provide solutions to them so if that kind of activity excites you then you should definitely go for ai sales rep so i hope this video has given you some direction on which career role is best for you if you like the content of this video then please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends who want to build career in ai making this kind of videos folks requires a lot of effort and if you are getting any value then at least you can do that much you can consider that as a fees for this session we are doing this work on youtube for free and for you liking the video or sharing it with your friends might not be much afford but it's going to mean a lot for us thank you for watching if you have any question post in the comment box below